Here we are with uh, one more sailing day until we arrive in Bermuda. Bermuda is now less than 100 nautical miles ahead of us. The trip has gone incredibly well. We have sailed the ship some 3,500 nautical miles. We've had incredibly favorable winds, and as a result, we've been able to sail a great percentage of the time. Over our uh, 34 days at sea, we've done about 117 new sun net trawls. That's one for every 30 miles of ocean traveled. One of the big goals of this expedition was to extend our current 25-year database to the east, to find the eastern edge of this high plastic concentration region. And clearly that didn't happen because at our very easternmost extent, we had one of the highest toes on record in any ocean. So clearly this region of high concentrations exists over a much larger region than we had thought previously. We need to come back map this again, map it further east, try to get the whole picture. What really gets me is that we're in a place that should be completely untouched by humans. Like, we're really in the middle of nowhere, and it's amazing that we're pulling, like, buckets and nutrition fact labels and all these identifiable pieces of plastic, as well as little shards that, you know, we have no idea where they came from. 99% of the pieces of plastic that we're picking up are smaller than my fingernail. And so you can imagine that chances are there is an infinite amount of even smaller pieces that are floating in the, in the ocean, which alludes also to the microbial story, uh, because the smaller the pieces of plastic are, the easier it is for the microbes to utilize either the surface of, of those pieces of plastic or the capability of, of breaking down those pieces of plastic. On my first trip, which was just last summer, I did the plastics project. And essentially it was the same thing that we're studying here in the Atlantic, but it was in the North Pacific subtropical gyre. And we found pretty similar numbers to what we're getting here. Most toes were probably in the hundreds while we were out in the middle of the Pacific between Hawaii and San Francisco. And then near the coast, there was hardly anything. Our group of 33 people went out into the middle of the Sargasso Sea a place that most oceanographers or other scientists or human beings for that matter never go to. And we found consistently high plastics that averaged about 100,000 pieces per square kilometer or more, which is comparable to uh, a lot of the research that we have from the Pacific Gyre. This is a picture of all of the toes that SEA has ever completed in both of the Pacific and the Atlantic Oceans over the past 22 years. Like the very first thing you can say is that Every single surface toe had plastic, and not not one or two pieces, but you know, More than four. twenty to twenty-three thousand pieces. Yes. Dior has uh, got uh, a number of us working on a PowerPoint presentation that uh, will be uh, made available to all the uh, participants in this cruise, and the and we can take that away. The message that we can take back is how can we help prevent future. Um, pollution from reaching areas of the ocean where it doesn't belong. I know pollution exists, I know it's there, and I think uh, this for me is kind of making it sink in that this plastic is, is changing the world we're living in. It's, you know, we're going to have to figure out whether we're living with it or how we're going to deal with it.